careless, careless. <laughs> and mustn't let these things lie about. <laughs> yes, Peter Cottontail, this time I'm personally taking care of these eggs. Hey guys, welcome to another candle video. This one I'm actually pretty excited about because I got some really cute containers to fill and I'm thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and do an Easter theme, pastel colors, really cute egg candles. And I actually found these last year after Easter and they were adorable back then. They had little plants in them. They had dirt and uh, flowers. So I cleaned them all up and I'm gonna fill these with really cute pastel colors. This video is going to focus on actually using essential oils to make the candles smell really good. And I actually got these from a really awesome subscriber that sent these to me on our last P.O. Box opening. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some adorable Easter candles and then show you how to add essential oils to make them smell really great. In my previous videos, I showed you guys probably two or three times how to glue your wicks into the bottom of your container, so I'm not gonna focus on that this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue my wicks into my containers, and then from that point, I'm gonna show you how to fill them, and I'm going to show you how to add the essential oils to make them awesome. I will, however, brag about my brand new glue gun that our lovely YouTube family member, Jody Young, gave me, and it looks so cute in my video, so I'm very, very excited to use it for this project. It is a Chandler tool gun, and I love the fact that it has the really cool base that it can just set up by itself, so while it heats, it waits for me. I love it. Thank you, Jody. On with the show. So at the same time that I'm working on my Easter candles, I'm actually working on a rather large $150 candle order for a YouTube family member that put in her order and said that she wanted some nice um, Easter colors, spring scents, just, you know, nice florals and cute scents. And I was thinking, you know, like some some chocolate scents because, you know, there's chocolate bunnies. and So I'm going to go ahead and be working on her project as well as my Easter egg project all in the same day. I'm actually not going to use the cotton wicks. I'm actually going to use the wood wicks. And thank you, Mark Prudhomme, for sending me the really, really nice wood wicks. These are the really thick ones that crackle when they burn. So these are going to be really cool when you're burning your Easter candle. You're going to hear like a little tiny mini fireplace going off in your eggshell. And it's just a really nice effect. It's soothing and relaxing, and that's that's what I've chosen for my eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those in there, and let's get our waxes ready to go. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm inside a rainbow. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm inside a rainbow. So when you're adding essential oils to wax, you want to do kind of the opposite that I tell you to do in most videos where I say don't use a lot of heat. If you're melting down a Bath & Body Works candle and you really want to have high quality, high intensity fragrance, you're going to want to not use as much heat. But when you are using wax that you want to add fragrance oils to, you always want your wax very, very hot because the scent that's in this wax is mild. Uh, it's not really high 
quality. It's definitely not high intensity. So since it's mild, it doesn't really matter that I'm heating it very, I want to make sure that it's all melted, all liquid, very hot. And at that point, when, when it is very, very hot, not boiling of course, just very hot, I'm going to add my oils to it so that they can really adhere to the wax and the final scent will be really, really amazing because the oils smell so good. So I'm going to take this wax that's been heated for approximately 10 minutes and I'm going to add the oils to them and show you how to do that right now. So for the first candle, I'm going to do like a Easter lily uh, floral garden type candle. I have uh, rose oil, which is really high quality. Uh, Miss Jody Young got this for me and it smells amazing. And then I'm going to use um, lily, plumeria, and honeysuckle. And I'm just gonna make like a really nice uh, floral garden scent for my first candle. So what I'm gonna do is pour my wax into this container and then add my oils. And I'll show you how I do that right now. I think I'm going to do a chocolate candle, which I have a Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream candle, which is cracked, but who cares because I'm about to melt it down. And I am going to add some of my Lone Star vanilla macadamia nut coffee oil, which smells like a coffee house, like macadamia nuts, and happiness. So... That's going to be my next one. Let's do a chocolate candle. Always remember, the best way to get your Bath & Body Works candle out of the jar is to freeze it. Because once you freeze it, boom. Heck, while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and melt down my strawberry gelato. It's actually a strawberry, raspberry, and cream gelato scent from Bath & Body Works. I'm going to melt that down. I'm going to add some vanilla cupcake and some really cute strawberry scented oil, which is going to make this smell like an old strawberry shortcake doll from the 80s. It's going to be adorable. And I think it's going to look really cute in the yellow egg. So here I have my Bath & Body Works hot cocoa and cream melting down in a bag with my vanilla macadamia nut coffee oil. 
and it is going to smell like amazingness. This is one of my favorite candles to make, actually. We'll come check on it in about five more minutes. Now that my hot cocoa and vanilla cream wax is all melted down, we are going to add our macadamia nut coffee. There's a couple of tiny little pieces of vanilla still floating around in there, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is add about a half an ounce of my Lone Star Vanilla Macadamia Nut Coffee. Oh, it smells like cupcakes baking in a coffee shop right now. It smells so good. Stir that up really well. Let's go ahead and add a little fudge brownie to it. You know, because what the heck, everyone likes dark chocolate. I wanted to give it a really chocolatey scent, kind of like that scent you get when you get one of those little stuffed Easter rabbits that smell like chocolate. I love those. Here is the strawberry gelato wax mixed with the vanilla. And we are going to add some of the strawberry shortcake oil, which is like strawberries and cream. It's going to end up smelling very iconic. Sweet. If you've ever smelled the strawberry shortcake dolls back in the 80s. It's really cute. So I have succulent strawberry and I'm going to add about half an ounce of that. Excuse the wax all over my fingers. So I think I changed my mind. I was going to add this to be a complementary color to the yellow egg, but you know what? We're talking strawberry shortcake here. So I'm thinking the pink egg is going to be really cute with the strawberry candle. Let's do it. my last candle. It is a yellow candle and I've decided that I'm going to use my monkey farts candle which is like pineapple, pears, a little bit of berry. Uh, so I'm going to do a play on that and I'm going to say I'm going to make a bunny farts candle because I'm going to add carrot nectarine to my monkey farts wax and it's going to be a really nice fruity but earthy really nice smelling candle, bunny farts, what more could you ask for? So I want my bunny farts candle to be a little on the orange side because I want it to look like a carrot because it's going to smell like a carrot. It's carrot nectarine 
And if you've ever smelled the carrot nectarine wax from Bath and Body Works, it is amazing. So I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, my orange candle. This doesn't really have a high potency smell. It's just going to smell amazing mixed with the high potency oils with the carrot nectarine and the bunny farts will be cute because it'll look like a carrot. This one is hard to explain what it smells like. It's just really nice. It's like, mm, it's just, I'm going to have to think of some good explanatory words for what bunny farts smells like. <laughs> I guess you can say it smells like the sweetness of carrots, a little bit of green grasses, ferns, herbs. It's um, herbally, has a slight hint of berry, um, maybe some pear. Very, very natural and just a very soothing scent, but Hey, you can't get much more Eastery than carrot. So this one's a win. Now moving on to the white and gold jars. These are actually part of the $150 candle order from my dear friend Leslie. And she just wants really nice pastel colors, spring scents, um, floral, sweet dessert scents. Anything that really just reminds you of spring. So I am going to use my prettiest waxes and my, I guess I'm going to start with a beachy candle and I definitely want to do a bunny farts candle in one and maybe a chocolate one and a strawberry one. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these up and we will check the eggs and see how they are cooling. When I was a kid, me and my mom always had a tradition at Easter. Even though we don't celebrate Easter anymore, I still remember this tradition. Every time that we would make Easter eggs, we would color them really pretty, like rainbow colors and pastel, and it was so cute. But we always, always made a really ugly black egg, and we would call it... The Ugly Duckling. <laughs> The Iron Tail Egg. And from this time forward, all Easter eggs shall be colored the shade of mud <laughs> and new concrete. <laughs> Iron Tail was like Peter Cottontail's like morbid enemy. I was thinking the Ugly Duckling. It mm. made like so much sense. No. Like it, it looks ugly, but it smells amazing. <laughs> I don't even know. You, you find out that I don't even know. If the, it's what's on the inside that matters. If you look at the Peter Cottontail movies, 
Look up Iron Tail. He was the bad rabbit. He was the evil rabbit. Terrible, wicked, nasty rabbit named Iron Tail. So I took my Tahitian coconut bath and body works wax and I melted it down. Um, so it's just going to be like a really crappy <laughs> gray looking candle and it's simply because <sighs> it just reminds me of Easter memories when I was a kid and if I didn't make an ugly iron tail candle it just wouldn't feel it just wouldn't feel right thanks mom I still remembered <sighs> at least it smells good even if it's ugly <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha!